Good morning, Dr. Warrison. Good morning to you, Mr. Williams. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. My name is Reginald Williams. I came here in 1961, and there weren't a lot of scholarships around for people who looked like me. What would you say has changed since you've attended here? Well, there are more students here. It's a much more diverse campus than what it was because there were three of us uh, when I came in. Uh -huh and not go an entire uh, academic year without seeing another black student. Uh, I don't think that's possible on this campus today. Yes, and as I opened up pathways for black students to come to UT, I also want to help widen that pathway with an endowed scholarship. Mm -hmm. The university has a long way to go to get those numbers up to be reflective of our population across the state. And we need it to be more reflective of that. So the benefits are really broad based uh, from a standpoint of having diversity in higher education. Because you begin to also learn and understand some things about other cultures. Yes, sir. Which better equips you to work with a diverse workforce. I, I definitely agree with that, especially seeing seeing here, once I came here, like for example, like my roommate, he was from a town that, did, that didn't have any black people in it at, at all. And so... <laughs> so he had a learning experience yeah, exactly. having used his roommate. Yeah, exactly, You exactly. had a learning experience in dealing with somebody... <laughs> that had never experienced uh, <laughs> this before. Yes, exactly. Sir, yes. As I began to think about it, seeing students uh, who look like you yes, on the campus and knowing what a struggle it is, it's one thing to recruit and get somebody here, but to get them to retain, retain. To, toward graduation is another situation. So what would you say to someone that was thinking about supporting your endowment? I see my investment in the scholarship fund really as seed money. Okay. And to utilize um, my particular story, my personal story, and my relationship with this university to attract donors to provide better opportunities for students across the state for the very purposes that we talked about. And so I'd love to see it grow uh, to a seven or eight figure endowment fund. Well, Dr. Robinson, I just really want to thank you for taking your time to speak to me today. Well, it's certainly been my pleasure. Yes, sir.